Welcome to a CAD designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling, exercise number 36. We make this 3D model in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Start the part modeling. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we will select the right side plane and make this circular profile. Also, make these another profile in the same sketch. Then extrude these one by one according to the given dimensions. Our 3D model should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the right side plane for the sketch. Take a circle tool and draw a circle with an origin point of diameter 24. Once draw a circle with the same center point of diameter 45. Take center line tool and draw a vertical center axis along to origin point. Like this way, now we make this base of the model. Take center rectangle tool and start to draw with the origin point and place next point approximately like this. Take Smart Dimension tool, and set the distance between this horizontal line and the origin point. It should be 60 mm. Give the dimension for this line, 90 mm. Take Line tool, and select the first point approximately on this line. For the next point of the line, find the tangent snap of the circle like this escape the command take smart dimension tool and set the distance between this endpoint and this horizontal line this dimension should be 24 millimeters take circle tool and draw a circle approximately inside the sketch of diameter 12. like this now we set the location of the circle take smart dimension tool and set the distance between this vertical line and the center of the circle it should be 18 millimeters, 18 millimeters. Similarly, set the distance between this horizontal line and the center of the circle. This also 18 millimeters. Take fillet tool. By default, the filleting radius of 10 millimeters is the set. Select these two corner points for filleting. Just click on OK. Select Mirror Entities tool, and select this circle and this slant line. For the mirror about section, we select this vertical center line, such as the mirror axis. Confirm the preview and right-click on OK. Take Trim Entities tool and trim unwanted edges from the profile, like this. Now we make the profile for this backside rectangular part. Take Corner Rectangle tool and start to draw the rectangle from this line to approximately like this. Take Smart Dimension tool, and set the 30 mm dimension for the length of this line. Also set the distance between the vertical axis and this vertical line of the rectangle. This should be 15 mm. Once take Trim Entities tool and trim unwanted edges from the profile. Like this. Our first sketch profiles are completed. Go to the Feature tab and take an extruded boss base tool. We are going with the selected counters option. First, we select this backside rectangular profile for the extrude. Select these two profile segments. Switch the direction and put the 5mm extruding value. See the preview and click on OK. Expand the first extrude feature and select Sketch 1. See Sketch is visible. This time we extrude the profile of this cylinder. Select Extrude tool and this circular profile segments. Like this. Put the extruding value 12 plus 18 millimeters. It's become 30 millimeters. See the preview and click on OK.
Once again select Sketch 1. Take Extrude tool, and this time select the remaining profile segments, like this. Confirm the extrude direction and enter the extruding value 12 mm. See the preview and click on OK. Our first sketch extruding is completed. Now we make this rib part. Here we are required to draw a rib at the middle of the object. That's for, we select a front plane for the sketch. Take line tool and start to draw a line from this corner point to this corner point. Draw an additional line to downward approximately 2 mm. Because of avoiding error during the rib build. This rib sketch looking like that. Go to the feature tab and select the rib tool. See line sketch is automatically detected. Make sure the rib direction arrow toward the object. Enter the 8 mm width of the rib. And click on OK. Our rib built is successful. Take filleting tool and take approximate radius value 2.5. Select the filleting edges as shown in the diagram. Our 3D model is completed. Apply any appearance for this model, as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all steps are you understood. Keep practice to make this model. If you have any questions, so comment to me. As soon as possible I'll answer you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next exercise video. Have a nice day.